Secret Agents! Welcome back. We're here doing it again like we do every Thursday. We're at Secret Agent Headquarters here, my Secret Agent Headquarters. And uh, we're going to talk about blockchain gaming and play my favorite blockchain games. That's what we do here. That's what I do on Thursdays. I see we got a couple of agents in chat. Mace, what is going on? A couple other agents, uh, some people I've seen in chat before. Typhoon, what is going on, man? Good, good to see you in chat again. It's just Christy hanging out. We're, I don't know where our, our, our mod for today, Riz, is at. Where's Riz at, guys? Where's Have, have you guys seen Riz? Anyone seen Riz? <laughs> I don't know where he's at, but uh, we're going to be playing some games today. So today we're playing 22 Racing Series. Uh, it's 22nd Century Racing. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and it, this is a this is a new experience too. I'm going to tell you guys why uh, here in a second once we get more into about the game. Uh, but I got some I, we got some announcements. We got things we got to talk about. We have blockchain gaming things to talk about. So uh, oh hey, MW, what is going on? Long time secret agent slash stasher. See now what's funny, right? Is you guys are always my stashers, but on Thursdays you get to be secret agent stashers right so i think that's kind of what's kind of fun about it uh so on thursdays you guys are agents <laughs> all right so uh you know when it comes to blockchain man, you know the, the good thing about this is that one of the things i love about being on theta is that it lets it lets me do the things i want to do a i get to hook you guys up i get to hook you guys up with uh free cryptocurrency uh, t fuel just by watching me right you all, I'm, I'm also doing incense, so I know you guys love incense if you're here on Theta. Uh, so we're doing incense there as well. And so uh, you, you get hooked up on that. And then I'm always doing giveaways. I have I do I do a ton of giveaways every show. So not only am I doing giveaways for like Theta items is what I call them, like Theta giveaways, right? That's what I call them. But I do special giveaways uh, to, uh, as well. So usually I do a giveaway for the game that we're playing in today, since it's 22 racing series, I am doing a race license, right? So we're gonna be doing a giveaway for this race license here later, and you guys could grab one of those, and that is what you need to get in on playing this game right here before it releases to Steam, or uh, before it gets to early access. So, Abel Road, thank you so much for that dance party! Appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna win. That's, that's that we're gonna put that prize on deck here later. There is a prize right now in the predictions giveaway, old jazzy thing there. So go ahead and uh, you know go ahead and click that, and uh, you can jump in. If you're new to Theta, which I know there's people that are new. You guys are new. Maybe you're just new to my channel. But uh, if you're new to either, you know Theta, you can get in these predictions or these giveaways, and all you gotta do is hit the little like card icon below my video. You can get in right there. Uh, and uh, that's where I'm going to be giving away this race license here in just a little bit. Actually, we could leave it up. I like that. That, that thing looks pretty slick, man. So we're going to give away the race license here in a little bit, but you can get on the current giveaway, which is Will Doge make it to the moon? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are Doge fans. I'm a Doge fan. I'm not a big Doge fan, but I have a small moon bag of Doge. Uh, I like to see what's going on with them. They're, they're, it's a great community coin. You know, that's what it comes down to is a lot of people, uh, I think, fail to realize the power of true community. And Doge always shows them with a big kick in the teeth every once in a while uh, with those green uh, those green candles coming at your face. So, <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrelicus. I love that. That's a sweet-ass name, man. Squirrelicus. Thanks so much for the follow, man, and hanging out with us. So uh, those are the giveaways. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're playing 22 uh, Racing Series today. It's a different game. So, uh, you know, before we get into that and what's different about it and a little bit about blockchain gaming, I want to talk about this. So if you guys are new and you're just joining us here on the channel and you're like, blockchain gaming, I see the title, uh, Secret Agent Stash Show, Blockchain Gaming Show. But what does that really mean? What does blockchain gaming mean? When you say that to somebody, you know, does it have some sort of meaning, you know, and I think a lot of people, maybe maybe not so much, they hear that term blockchain gaming, and they're like, I don't even know, and I'm into crypto, they're like, I'm into crypto, I don't know what that means. So I just want to give a little primer here before we start off, just talking a little bit about what blockchain gaming is, 
and why blockchain gaming is important, why it's going to change the face of gaming forever. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. Helder, what is going on, man? Thanks so much for that follow there, making that ball drop. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, in general, uh, yeah, I, I mean, in general, you know, blockchain gaming is, uh, there's a couple of tenets, you know, and I like to look at it kind of as the Triforce of, of explaining blockchain gaming, the Triforce of blockchain gaming. So at the top of the Triforce, you have being able to own your own assets outside of the game servers, right? <laughs> so if you bought an asset like a mount or a skin or something like that, like a gun skin, you don't own that asset, man. And most of the time you can't trade that. If there's centralized servers for the game go down or they decide, hey, we're gonna ban you or something, they can do that because you don't actually own that asset. With blockchain gaming, the blockchain allows you to own these assets in, uh, in for these games independently of the game, right? So that's, that's Triforce number one on the top. Triforce number two is the fact that you can trade these assets in some sort of decentralized marketplace, a marketplace that uh, you know may reside inside the game, but some sort of uh, marketplace uh, that you can do a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace, right? So that's the other Triforce. The third Triforce, right? The third Triforce is uh, is is for the developers. So the, tr the third Triforce and, and, and tenant of blockchain gaming is that developers will make more money on these blockchain items because not only will they make the initial sale, but then they'll get residuals off of every sale afterwards on these marketplaces because it's built into the contract, the blockchain contract, to do so, right? So you get, you, you, there's a lot more potential upside for developers there for more profit here in the future. So those are the three, three Triforces of blockchain gaming or three pieces of the Triforce of blockchain gaming. And uh, you know, th so, so if your game is not doing that, then I don't know what game you're playing. Uh, Squirrelicus is playing Lost Relics, super hype on Ember Sword. Very cool, man. Yeah, we just did Lost Relics last week. I don't know where you were, Squirrelicus, but we actually just featured it last week. Uh, and Ember Sword is a game that is going to be coming out this year. And I've actually talked to the team, and I, I'll be playing some Ember Sword when it comes out. I'm, I've been excited about it. That game has actually been on the docket to be done here for a long time. It's been like two or three years almost. So. Hey, and there's our mod, Riz. What is going on? Christy's now a mod. Uh-oh. Yeah, you better watch out, Riz. You, you, keep, be, you, keep, you keep being late, Riz, and Christy's going to take over them duties, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Riz. She, she's, she's just the mod. Uh, she, I, I let her mod on Tuesdays during my NFT show. Uh, but uh, you, you are the number one mod of my heart, Riz. Don't, don't worry, man. So much mustache love for you. Don't worry, man. You're not, you're, your job is not being taken over. Your job is not being taken over. Oh, this is the, your first time on Theta, and I'm the reason I, that you came here. Squirrelicus, that's cool, man. I appreciate you coming here and hanging with us on Theta. It's a lot of fun here. This is a great community. I really enjoy it. It's, you know, it's been very respectful. Everyone here really likes crypto, which is great uh, for me. <laughs> it's great in general. I just really love it. And gaming. And that's what I really am all about. So crypto, gaming, NFTs, it all works together. And, and Theta is really pushing the boundaries on a lot of those uh, areas as well. So... Um, that's why I've moved all of my streaming uh, here to Theta. Riz over, there. don't poke the bear, Riz. See, dang it, dang it, Riz, don't poke the bear, man. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyways, that's a little bit about blockchain gaming and why I do what I do. You know, I do this because I want to put a spotlight on this. I truly believe this is going to be a major paradigm shift in the industry, just like we saw with uh, free to play. If you guys are a little old school gamers like me, uh, there were games before free to play games like there was just there was no game you could play for free man You had to pay for everything or maybe you could bootleg it right like bootleg games are still around you could bootleg games But uh, there was not really that such of this model of, like free to play and then buying things in the game microtransactions That was that was a whole revolutionizing concept and blockchain is going to do the same thing to gaming But even bigger guys you have no idea that combined with nfts there the sky is the limit and I love to be able to put a spotlight on it. So that's what we do here. Uh, my name is Secret Agent Stash. Every Thursday, I jump into my favorite blockchain game and I infiltrate it. But I got, but I can't go in wearing just this old disguise. I realize I don't have my collar popped like I normally do. I don't go. I, I can't go in to the, these games just in, in my old Secret Agent outfit here, guys. I can't do that. So I have to get into a disguise first before I get into these games. And so that's one of the most important things. And so you guys know if you've been here on the show before, you know that I have to get into a different disguise every show. That's part of the fun, right? That's part of the fun. 
So we got to before we get into 22 racing, we got to do that. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the game here, though, before we jump in. Now, uh, so so you guys got maybe so while I'm talking about the game, think about what disguise I might be changing into today, because whoever is closest, I'm gonna give them a, a special little gift, right? Uh, when we do our disguise change. So you guys think about that, and uh, we're gonna talk about the game here. So 22 century uh, racing series. <laughs> it's kind of a long name there, but uh, 22 RS, 22 RS, right, is uh, is a legit uh, AAA class racing game that is like next gen racing, right? So the cool things about it, A, uh, it is coming to Steam, but also to Xbox and to PlayStation, right? Uh, B, the fact is, is that when you race in this game, now that you're you're racing in vectors, right? So not only you're just you're not just racing on a track, but you can race on the walls, on the ceiling. You have to deal with gravity in all these situations. So that is interesting and very cool. Now, of course, this game deals with uh, you know NFTs. So NFTs in general um, are, are you know a core element to this because that's how you create your cars. So you you essentially get these race licenses, which is an NFT as well. And then you get part packs, and you can use the part packs to customize your uh, your 22 racer, right? So your car. Uh, so that's kind of how this that whole thing works there. And you know this is this is you know this game was built to be an esports game. Like that is that is a core part of what this game is really like. Like the reason why they really wanted to to do this. So um, it's it's real time. It's RTS racing game, right? And you know they say esports DNA at its core is kind of how they they try and describe it here. So. Uh, you know, the great thing about this game is I, oh, and we got, we got prizes. There we go. Sorry guys. I had the instant came up and I've still had the, I still had the prize there going on. <laughs> we should probably just move that here next for next time. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of a little bit about 22 racing and, uh, what is going on with that. And, you know, and so we're going to get in there. I tried to play this game before I connected with the team because this is on the Phantasma blockchain. This is a different blockchain on than uh, some of the other games we play, which have been like, ethereum or wax based games or something like that but this is on phantasma and they were kind enough a while back to send me some assets to test it out but i i i got in and i tried to play with my keyboard and it's the, it, it, they don't recommend it and i didn't know that at first right they're like hey you really should just have like a usb you know like a game controller like an xbox or playstation or something and so uh i was like okay that's cool uh but i don't have those I didn't have I didn't have a controller at the time, so I kind of had it to, to, to table it here for a second. But now, uh oh, look what we got! There we go. So I got a controller now, uh, and we're gonna play the game today uh, on this controller. So that's what we gotta do. All right. So they're like, oh, race car driver, speed racer. That would be a good one. Ooh, maybe that maybe that's it, man. That's a really good guess. Dale Earnhardt. Ah, that'd be a little hard to do. But he does have the mustache, doesn't he? All great guesses. So that's a little bit about 22 Racing. What it's all, you know, what the game is kind of about. We're gonna jump in here, and I just, you guys want to see this game looks great. And I saw so this. I have not played it. I waited. I specifically waited for you guys. I got this controller like a week ago, and it's been sitting here. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna, I want to play that 22 Racing. But I want to really have my first experience playing it with you guys on stream instead of like being like a pro. I could get in like, yeah, look at, look how easy it is, guys. I'm a pro. I want you guys, you guys are gonna see what it actually is like as a first experience playing this game from the get go. Cause I am not a, um, I'm, I'm not a pro at this game, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get good at it. Cause I gotta be able to beat my buddy Ken Bozak at this game. He has been challenging me, throwing down the, the, the gauntlet here a couple times. And so I need to I need to brush up the chops. He he literally beat me down last time me and him uh, played. As a matter of fact, actually I I feel like in general, Bozak just spends more time gaming than I do, and he just he's got a good natural talent for it. He uh, he beats me down in a lot of games. So uh, he beat me down in Splinterlands multiple times. I think I won a couple times in Splinterlands, but uh, we've also played Warzone before together, and that was a lot of fun. There's no we weren't on opposite sides on that one, but. So in general, I got to get good at this game, guys. That's what we're going to do. We're going to jump in. We're going to do this. Now, we are trying to get to 1,000 uh, followers here. So if you're not following, I would appreciate a follow today. You guys are going to love this. Every time I, I, I stream, it's always a fun time. All right, but before we get uh, going on that, I do we're, we're, uh, got to remind you guys, I do want to remind you that uh, this, this giveaway is going on right now. Prediction, jump in the prediction. We're going to do another uh, giveaway for an actual NFT here for the game. Uh, so, uh, make sure you jump in this giveaway cause I'm going to close it after we get back from our disguise change, which we got to do right now. Because like I said, if you guys haven't seen the show before, 
you know that's what it's about i'm a secret agent but i can't go in just dressed like a secret agent that'd be weird i gotta go in in some sort of disguise so they don't know it's me so that's one of the, the fun things we got to do here and uh you know when we talk about this and everyone's like oh the disguises it's one of the things that people love now i brought this show over from twitch i was doing the show over on twitch but i loved what was going on theta so much that I wanted to bring it here and do it exclusively, all of my streaming here on Theta, which I've done. Now, I've been here on Theta for quite a few months now, about, uh, I don't know, six months or so, five months. And uh, one of the things uh, that was really fun, though, that I did on Twitch was uh, they you can accrue channel points on Twitch and then redeem those points for prizes, right? So I thought it was a really unique feature. And so people could redeem what we called a disguise change. So I always, I always change into one disguise, but then someone, each a show could redeem one of these disguise changes with their points. And then I would then have to go change into a new disguise because of them. It was a lot of fun. I love the audience interaction. And so that part of the show, unfortunately, had to get reconfigured when I came here to Theta. I love being able to change the disguises for you guys and be able to have you guys redeem it, but there was no similar functions here on Theta. So I'm still in the process of figuring all that out, but I'm very close to being able to reveal what it's going to be, how it's going to work. It is going to be NFT based. It is going to be like Theta based probably uh, in the very near future, but it might be on another chain first, just so you guys know. But my, my plan is to bring these NFTs to Theta and you guys be able to earn these NFTs in certain ways and then redeem the NFT to be able to get me to change into that specific disguise. So there'll, there'll be ones that are like specific, right? And then there'll be some general, like, like a random disguise. So the random disguise ones will be a lot easier to earn. And the specific disguise is like, if you want me to be like Stashius the Great or uh, uh, Stash Slash, or you know any of the uh, uh, Harry Stasher, any of my other uh, uh, great uh, disguises that you guys have seen me in, you'll be able to get NFTs for those too and then redeem them for specific uh, disguise changes. So that's coming. I'm gonna debut it soon. I know you guys, uh, any of you agents that were here before, uh, you know, maybe you guys are like, oh, my channel points. I told you that I would have a new system. So we'll be able, you guys will be able to earn that uh, and, and do that. If you guys haven't noticed, though, I do have some brand new badges, which you can go see in my NFT, Theta NFT items below here on my profile. I have brand new badges that I'm giving out to people as they reach certain levels. So right now you can go grab one of those badges and we're going to have, so I'm going to have new badges and new emotes here in the next uh, week or two as well. So not only are we going to have new badges, we're going to have new emotes. We have new subscriber badges, right? So you can see PWOW coming through and he's, he's displaying his new subscriber badge that he just, that he just earned because he's a subscriber and being a subscriber is the only way to get the mythical badge, right? Right now. So the only way to get the mythical badge is to either get to level 20 in my channel, or to get or, or or to sub so to get that mythical badge you got to sub and uh you know Wow just subbed last uh, last time he's like where's my mythical badge you got to go claim it dude in your inventory man so you just got to go to your inventory and press claim and you got it right there bud uh so yeah so uh and actually a couple people snapped up those mythical badges like that because there's only a couple of them um and uh you know in general they they are nfts so you'll have those as custom nfts that i made here for my channel and uh, you'll be able to continue to earn those badges as you climb levels. So as you get to like level uh, three and then you get to like level five or 10 or 15 or 20. So uh, that system is getting built as well right now, but the badges are there. So if you guys stick around here to the end of the stream, I'll hook you up with badges uh, that are appropriate with your level. So you have to reach at least level three to get a badge and not already have one. And I will hook you up with one. But uh, working on some cool stuff hopefully in the background here to automatically do these things in the future. Yes. <laughs> okay so that's a little bit about the disguise changes and how that's going to work here in the future and badges coming here to to theta as well for me and emotes are coming as well too so if you're going to subscribe you're going to get that mythical emote right now but you also get some other cool things too uh that are going to be here in the future so definitely look at that and subscribing only takes a little bit of t-fuel uh every month so i do appreciate you guys the support uh in subscribing to the channel all right are you guys ready are you guys ready to jump into 22 racing series and get into disguise and play this brand new game? I gotta jump into disguise right now. If you guys want, start guessing right as soon as I, I switch to, uh, to the disguise change screen, start guessing what my disguise is gonna be and whoever's closest is gonna get a special gift from me right now on stream. 
Yes, all right, let's do this. I'm jumping. Disguise change now. Secret agent search. It's Dr. Stash C here, and we're going to go into 22 Racing, and we're going to clean up with the competition. It's going to need triage when I get done with them. <laughs> triage, I tell you. They're going to have to wheel me out in an ambulance. I mean me, not the competition. Not the competition. Me. It's going to be me. <laughs> Dr. Stash to you. It's Dr. Stash. So, okay, there we go. So uh, I've changed into my disguise today. I am, I am Secret Agent Dr. Stash. Dr. Stash here. 
uh, ready to uh, ready to clean up the competition. Now, who was closest? Because I'm gonna go back through here and let's see. Johnny Bra, <laughs> Typhoon, you put a bunch of good guesses in here, man. I'm I'm okay with multiple guesses. If you get, I'm I'm fine. You guys don't have to just guess once. James Bond was good. Mario, I did Mario last week. So House of NFT, man. That was, was a good guess. James Bond. Let me see what else we got in here. Speed Racer, Mad Max, Caveman. Hmm. Which one was closest? Which one do you guys think was closest to, <laughs> to my disguise? Uh, let's go with... I'm going to say Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Maybe it's closest out of all of those. So we'll go with Typhoon Crypt, man. You, you, you get. A, well, I'll give you a little gift for being closest, man. You, you, you're, you're, you're pretty close. Give you a surge crate there, buddy. You look like Rick with those glasses. I could be Rick, right? <laughs> I should have been like, I'm Rick. Rick Stash. All right, so we're in our disguise. We're ready to jump in uh, to 22 racing. So let's go. Let's go load the game up and get uh, jumping on. So let me let me load the game here and get going. Uh, while we get that going, I'm going to uh, pick the winner for the current giveaway. So you guys, hopefully, you got in on that. And yes, Doge will make it to the moon, if you guys were wondering. I don't know why you think it wouldn't, but yes, of course, Doge to the moon. Oh, House of NT, man, that's okay, dude. You know, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad you're hanging out with us. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully come back. Hopefully you come back and, and hang out some more. So congrats to the winner there, P-Wow, getting that surge crate. Uh, Usever with uh, the uh, opening day badge and Villanova, Simon, Simon with the uh, Poro there, little Poro. Congrats all for, for the good wins there. Uh, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna get the other giveaway going and then we're gonna jump into, I gotta, I'll, I'll, I'll switch over to the game. So like I said, I want, I'm gonna give away this 22 racing series and also some T fuel and some coins for our next giveaway. Will I win my first racing match ever? Yes or no? So you guys have to predict if I'm going to win it or not. And then... I, I'm, I'm going to say it's a solid probably a no, guys. I, I don't think I'll win my first match. But, so if you if you really th if you have confidence in me, you could do yes if you'd like. But I'm, pro I'm thinking it's probably going to be no, so... Okay, so um, we got to open the prediction and open the giveaway. All right, there we go. Giveaway ready to rock. Let us go and game. My no it's crazy how much you can see up my my fake nose when I do this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go jump into 22 series racing, guys. All right, so here we go. So uh, this is this is this is me. This is this is the car. So I got the car here, and this is where we start off. This is our home, our little home spot. I want to bring up. I, I always forget to bring up chat on my phone. I need to get a second monitor, guys, so I can put chat on my other monitor. I just have one big giant screen, so it doesn't work so good when you want to do two screens like this. This is the only thing I really need two screens for. Oh, squirrel, man! I'm uh, squirrel kiss. I'm glad that you uh, that you jumped on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff on there, man. I have a website with tons of great stuff too. So uh, lots of stuff that you can check out there. So, all right. So here we go. So the, you know, this is kind. I'll just kind of go over the, a little bit of the the game uh, uh, load screen. So uh, leaderboard here on the home screen. You can see I'm not on it. <laughs> no surprise there. Uh, so you can see there's like a training introductory. I should probably take that, shouldn't I? Ooh, there's a special event. 
8 is inverted, then there's community stuff here too. So it, it's kind of an overview of things uh, that you can do here. And then, uh, let's see, so there's the Steam Festival coming up, right? They have all these things. Damn, there's so much on the screen. So there's just racing here and then the vehicle and settings. So there's a lot of things going on with the Steam Festival right now, which I think they're getting ready to, to do. I just I saw something about that. Alright, so let's take a look at the vehicle here. So you can see there's, as you can see, like I said, th these vehicles you can, you're basically customizing with a bunch of different, um... And so you can see right now, I only have one car, so I can't really do much here. Let's see if we can kind of custom, let's see if we can customize it a little bit. So I don't know that I can customize it just yet. I don't even know if I have, I don't think I have anything to customize it with is why. I think I need to go buy, I need to get some parts. See, no part found. So I need to uh, like open my part packs and do that. But this is where you would go to like customize your vehicle. You can see they build new, let me see. Yeah, so you have to have a brand new to do that. So you can buy parts and you can browse parts. Let's browse some parts and see what they got in there and you can see. Nada. Yes, must play with controller. I got the controller, man. Finally, I, I didn't have one. I just I never had any games that I needed a controller for on the PC. I don't play like racing games on here uh, ever. So it's a pretty fun game. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool looking. I, I like I said, even just when I jumped in a little bit, I thought it was pretty cool. So okay so we got the we got home leaderboard bubble let's look at this and look at the tutorial what do you guys think i think i think that's a good way to, to start because <laughs> yeah like i said you, you know you could play it with the keyboard but i tried it and it was just so hard man RTS Racing is resource sector capture, mid-race vehicle upgrades, track abilities in a physics simulated environment. Yeah. Before we get going, let's get a handle on some basic controls. Move L to steer. Yep, yep, we know we got steering. Okay. Press uh, RT to accelerate. Hang on. Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier. It's I, I like I said I tried this with uh <laughs> I tried this with my controller, I mean with my keyboard and man, it's it's like night and day. Definitely gotta get a, a controller for this game, but that I mean Oh that's a one came climb just up ahead for some time for some boost turbines. Hold A to get your boost. Keep pressing RT to accelerate. Okay. Okay, so yeah, A is just like your generic boost. Nice. Alright, we're learning together, guys. What do you guys think? Must play with controller. Uh, and so if you guys didn't notice that that giveaway is active now for the 22 uh, series uh, racing series license You need a license to play this game right now So you can see that license there it unlocks the game here and then you can get in and start building your cars uh, Customizing and things like that. So uh, it's, a, it's a really great item. I hope you guys get in there uh, If you're new to theta you earn the gold coins that you need to enter just by watching the channel So every 10 minutes you earn about a hundred Vertical uh, corners, like up ahead, affect downforce and grip. There's a gravity arrow to check your orientation between the flashing arrows. Whoa. I definitely did not make that. Nope, I'm all over the place. Oh, I'm off the track. Oh, no, I'm off the track. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, my gosh. I'm off the track again. Oh, I'm floating back in. 
Nope, nope. Not happening. Reset to last checkpoint. Uh, what is that? I don't even know what the button that is. Why? It's not that. Huh. Not D pad. Oh. Get back racing. Whoa. <laughs> wow. I'll get it. Okay, there we go. See, I was just like, not about it, dude. Alright, back in the tube. Back in the tube. Got it. I made it. Woo! Bosch Nation. Bo oh, Boss China Nation. What is up, man? Thanks for hanging out. We got, got a couple of people. So we're playing 22 uh, series race. Uh, 22 series racing. Uh, racing series. 22 racing series. I keep... Yeah. 22 racing series uh, as we're playing right now. This is a blockchain-based game where you, you can have NFTs to customize your car. Do you want more horsepower? Of course. There are three stages of vehicle part upgrades. See, we were just talking about this. To upgrade your engine to stage one, press up on the D-pad. Okay. That's cool. Down for reduction anytime. So that's something we're definitely gonna need when you see some of these things where like you're kind of flying off, so it's X for down force reduction. It's great for top speed, but can uh, but cornering gets slidey, so use with caution. Okay, so straightaways are good. Don't want down force reduction when you uh, are doing turns. Top speed. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can load out your vehicle with abilities. Abilities uh, attached to the track surface can be used by you and your team. Abilities are comprised of a type and an area of effect. Okay, so it's this. It's the other one that's that's right there. So abilities are D-pad to the right. You load, you have a boost beam ability fitted between flashing arrows. Okay, boost beam. To use it, press. Okay. I used it. Cool down timer. Oh, now it's active again. Now, plus reduction in super speed. Orange part of the track. Am I ready for the ultimate boost? <laughs> hey yo. 22 racing series. That's right, man. That's what we're playing. Crypto Chris. What's up, man? So plasma fusion, it's clean nuclear fusion. It's installed in your vehicle and it kicks hard. Seriously. Okay. It collects by owning sectors, so the more sectors you own, the more plasma you get. Easy check out the plasma meter between the flashing arrows. Okay, so I have plasma, and I'm ready to go. Yes. Whoa. I wonder if I can do plasma speed boost and dampening. I don't have a back button. I don't know what button that is. Is that this? Not that. I don't have that button. What button is that, man? Maybe that is it. Ah! 
Oh look, I'm on top now. <laughs> Woo! Man, these these parts where there's no track like that, that's that's pretty difficult to stay on there. I mean, I I just can't go fast. You've done well! I don't know how well I've done, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, speed incredibly fast. Yeah, it is very fast. You need lightning reflexes. Yeah, probably. I've been given fully upgraded stage 3 22 RS vehicle. Let's see if we can get over a thousand KPM. Ooh, nice. Alright, let's see if we can do it. Close, 800, go, go, go! Nope, I gotta go Plasma. Oh, nope, wrong way, I'm stuck in the track! <laughs> oh, dang! I was doing so good! Couldn't get it to a thousand though. I'll have to work on that. You uh, go to Steam Festival in the menu for our prize tournament. We hope you really enjoy our taste of a real time strategy racer. Boom, there you go. So that's a little intro to uh, 22 Racing Series here, uh, 22 Century Racing. I wonder if they're going to shorten that to just 22 Racing. I think they kind of already really kind of have. What do you guys think? Do you think they're going to really drop the like 22 Century part of it? Or do you think they'll, they'll continue to have that? It's Bob, it's like Bob slid it <laughs> on Cybercrank, yeah, for sure, dude. Helium, that's exactly what it kind of feels like uh, playing this game. All right, so there you go. You guys got a little taste of this. Now I want to make sure that you guys see that there is the giveaway going on uh, here below that you can get into that uh, and you can get a license uh, to play this game. So that's you need a special license right now because this is in uh, early access. Uh, it is coming to Steam here uh, in sometime 2021. I'm not sure the date. Sometime later this year, uh, but it is coming to Steam this year for sure. I know I know that, and it looks like a fun game. So we're we're gonna jump more into this, but I want to make sure you guys know that you can get in that in that prediction because once I do this match and I lose or win, you can't. I'm, I'm closing this giveaway. So uh, it's important that I let you guys know. If you were out there and you were waiting, uh, that uh, <clears throat> that you might want to get on that right now. So. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We're gonna jump into just doing races now. See, we could go to the Steam Festival here. Um, So there's a leaderboard shootout. There's a uh, eight inverted versus our AI, and there's co-op team up uh, versus AI. I want to see what, we, what what race just race does. Let's see, ranked or local. Let's try local first. Individual team play head to head tutorial mode. We already did tutorial mode. Uh, we don't need team play. We're just gonna do individual. Oh, there's so many options. Free for all. Time trial. Capture. Free practice. I think just free for all. No love loss. One to eight players, three to ten laps. Adapt upgrade strategy to suit changing conditions. See, there's a lot of levels of this game. 
I mean, it's not just racing and doing it in like uh, in, in kind of you know 3D space, but also knowing you know it's kind of like Mario Kart, <laughs> having some upgrades, knowing when you know to be able to use those and what they work with. Um, let's see. See now that's I think it's just gonna be I want to play against the AI. So maybe we need to go to ranked or team play. Oh, no, not go well. Every race for themselves. See, head to head. Maybe that's what we want. So low. I wonder what track. Oh, eight. Outside eight. Outside eight. Coast. I wonder if there's like level. Oh, that is intermediate, advanced, beginner. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, intermediate, intermediate, intermediate. We definitely want to go with the beginner one, guys. Okay. Daytona. That's kind of cool. Let's go with Daytona. All right, here it is. Steam ready. Yes, Doctor. Choose a team, red or blue. Should we be red or should we be blue? Red, blue. Red, blue. Red, blue. I'm going to go with blue because I'm wearing blue. I know it's hard to see that, but hey. All right, so get in on that prediction because I'm going to close it as soon as I get my butt kicked by this uh, AI guy. Or maybe not. Maybe I win. Maybe I win against him. Uh, we'll see. Okay, yes. Engine upgrade, capacitor upgrade, boost, and ERS upgrade. Okay, so I'll have to try and upgrade on the fly, too. Alright, this is it. Oh my gosh, he's so much faster than me. That is not good. Okay, engine upgrade. He's feet in 30 seconds, oh come on. Nope, not this time. Get in here. And do I have plasma? I have a small amount of plasma. I don't even know where he is in front of me. I can't see. Is there a trap? Like a little thingy? Oh yeah, he's a little. He's quite. He's quite in front of me. Oh, I see him now though. I see him. He's in my sight now. No. Plasma. Oh no. I'm out of plasma. Oh, wait, do no, I got more plasma? Go, go, go. It's not working. Why is my plasma not working? Oh my gosh. Oh, I lost. Oh, blue team wins. Wait, how did I win? I did win. I won. <laughs> no way. Wait, wait, wait. There's no. Oh, yeah, he did. I, I totally beat him somehow. So maybe I, but I never passed him. So I don't really understand how that works. It does look like a more modern F0. That's what I like about it. I got this. Easy. So most battled sector, sector one. Oh, I stole the sector. That's maybe why I did that. So sector one. That might have been why, because I think I stole the sectors and that was why I did it. That's weird. I'm not sure exactly. Because see, it says that I'm second. But uh I did lose. I, I, like I did lose, but it says blue team wins. I don't get that because I was the blue team. That's so weird. I was faster than him in every sector. That's true, 
but uh, does that mean that I win? Is it is it based on sectors or is it whoever crosses the finish line at the at the end? I guess I didn't really like think about that. Hmm. Oh, that's why they're all blue, I see. I did lose though. <laughs> so I did lose. But somehow I won, but I really actually lost. I lost the race, but I won the sectors. I'm gonna say that that's a loss. I'm gonna say that's a loss and I want to figure out. You won pop bottles and enjoy. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a loss and uh, we're gonna go with no. So did I win my first ra race match ever? No, I didn't, I lost. Now I may have got all the sectors, but I'm not really sure how that factors in and if it's all based on sectors or if it's really based on like who, you know, crosses the, who's the fastest overall, right? I don't know. It did say blue team wins. Probably a different type of race that goes on sector times. Is head to head one that goes on sector times? Let's find that out. Okay, before we call it, we're gonna, we're, I, I don't wanna call it on the thing. So you guys still got time to get in there. Well, if we go to race and then we go to, we just did local cause we're not, we're just doing against CPU. I did individual, maybe that's what we need to do. Let's see if that's it. And if this is individual and there's like a, a bunch, see, cause it only, one player, let's see. We'll, we'll pick the same one, Daytona. So let's see if I'm racing. I, I see. I don't think I'd be racing against myself. Oh, I'm not. So there we go. Okay. So this is the real. That's this is the real. So so he's right. I, I picked a different mode that I guess is like uh, the sector mode or something, right? So uh, that is that is I think what happened here. So we're gonna go off this race. This will be my first real official race because you can see this is like a real race. There's a bunch of other cars. The other one was was like a. Uh, Yeah, the other one was was not the mode we were looking for. It was not a true race. So, all right, we're gonna go with this. And you, you guys see my name up there? That's my wallet address. Uh, I got. I'm gonna get it changed. A very kind uh, person in the uh, Phantasma community actually sent me enough soul or KCAL, I think it was. Was it KCAL or soul? Uh, to be able to change my name uh, so I can uh, get my custom name. So I'm gonna do that here after uh, the stream. So I can. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, now here we go. Contested here, guys. Yeah. Ah. Uh, get over to the other side. Come on, Sash. Come stash. Stay in that position, baby. Ah, I get stuck against that wall. Oh, I'm well ahead of the competition here. Looks like I am going to be first. Boom! What? So there you go, first official race. I I didn't think I would be. I didn't think I would win. That must have been like on like super easy mode or something, right? Is that it? Is that because that was an easy track? Oh my goodness. So there you go. I did win the first match. So I, I you know, for all you guys that were out there, ho hopefully somebody hit, uh, chose win. Uh, yes, that I would win. Hopefully not all you guys thought I was gonna lose. You guys all thought I was a loser. I thought I would lose too, man. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I played AI. Yeah. What's wrong with that? You think I need, you think, where's the real competition? Uh, I don't know, that's actually a good point. Let's go see if we can, uh, let's see if we can race someone live here. I don't know, I don't know if I can.
I don't know how this works. So let's see if I, I I don't know if I can get other people right now. I don't know I don't know if it has multiplayer. Playing the AI is like playing PWoww. <laughs> no, see this is not what we want. Uh, wait, how do I get out of here? So I don't know that there, uh, yeah, so I was like, I don't know that there's a multiplayer mode. They yeah, I got a golden UR somewhere. Yeah, show it off there, PWL. So yeah, no, that, that was legit. So that was me playing, and that, but that was a beginner stage, so it was the easy one. So I'm gonna have to, I, 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 I don't know, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to go with win. I did win my first match ever. I actually technically won both of them. I hope somebody picked yes. Yes, I will win my first match. All right. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Arca nine, Arca nine, nine. Oh, I know there will be. Yeah, for sure. I knew it was. I I didn't think it was live in beta. I didn't think that uh, multiplayer was live. So, but GG's there uh, for RK9, or Ar 99 for getting that 22 series racing pass. Uh, as it says, just contact me in uh, Telegram, and uh, I will uh, I will hook you guys up with that prize. Uh, if you could dump my, oh, I don't even know if Riz has it. If you could dump my Telegram link in there into the chat, Riz, that would be. I mean, that'd be great. My Telegram link, real easy, t.me forward slash crypto stash club. And you got you guys can come and hang out in there too. It doesn't, it's not just, you know, it's we talk about NFTs and gaming in there. It's a small community, but uh, you know, a lot of great uh, people in there and the good conversations to be had and, and all, all a lot of fun. So definitely would enjoy you guys joining me in my Telegram group. MW man, good night, buddy. Thank you for coming by. Longtime agent MW is signing off, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna give you a badge before you go, dude. I gotta give you a badge here. There you go. So if you guys stick around after the show and you're at least level three or above, I'll give you this badge if you don't already have one. They're the new uh, Theta NFT badges. And I just made them, so they're brand new. Uh, there's a bunch of different levels. So they're kind of tied to how much XP you're getting here on Theta. And I'm, I'm working on something to kind of help smash that all together, man. <clears throat> yeah, Bruggy, I'll, I mean, like I said, dude, I'll hook, I'll hook it. Uh, MW's leaving. He's been around for a long time, so I wanted to make sure he got one, but... Uh, yeah, definitely. Just stick around to the end of the stream, and I'll hook everybody up with uh, badges that are appropriate for their for their levels. Okay. And the levels the levels are uh, three, uh, eight, ten, fifteen, and twenty. Just so you guys know. All right, well, let's go. Uh, now that we've uh, sorted all that, and you guys, we have a winner for that uh, 22 Series Racing badge. Um, let's go and... What did I just do here? Let's go and do a, just get another uh, giveaway going. Give away one of these G Fuel shakers. I know you guys love those G Fuel shakers, right? I got a bunch of great stuff to give away. Opening day badges, Pog Tammies, all kinds of great stuff. I wish I could give more things away quicker. Like, I wish I could have, like, uh, you know, you can only select three prizes and three winners at a time. Like, I want to do ten. We will do a bunch. So everyone can get in. Everyone can get some good prizes.
All right, here we go. New prediction and giveaway open. Do I crush at 22 racing series? The answer is yes. If you do, if you put no, you're not getting anything. Uh, this car right here that you see is just the starter one, man. So I haven't made a car or anything. This is like the starter car that comes with it. So you can see like, uh, we went to vehicle over here before and um, you can see I don't, I don't have any other ones. It's just this one. Uh, and so I can't, I can build one, but I don't have any parts. So you can see I go to build uh, and build new, but I don't have any parts. I need to open my parts in my wallet, which I didn't do ahead of time. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. You want to top up the giveaway with some KCAL? Dude, Crypto Chris, man, yeah, dude. If you want to throw some KCAL uh, for a giveaway, let me know how much, and I will uh, I will add it right now. I will add it for, for the next giveaway. I mean, not this one, but for the next one. We'll do this giveaway real quick, and we'll do another one. So, yeah, let me know how much you want to add, buddy, and that's very kind of you, and I'll do it. Uh, Helium says, is this game free to play or how much uh, them cars cost? So uh, right now it's in like early access. So no, it's not free to play right now. Uh, it'll be launching on Steam. So it's not going to be a free to play game. You'll have to get like a race license, I believe. I, I don't know what the payments or like the, the pricing structure is going to be once it goes on Steam. Uh, but I do know right now you do need to get a race license if you want to play it in like this, this early access kind of stage. So... So not free to play, not free to play. Uh, but the cars, yeah, you do have to buy the packs, and the pack, the packs of the, uh, so it's not that expensive actually. It's actually pretty reasonable. Uh, let me go see. Like, uh, let's see here. Build is where we were at. Uh, buy parts. Let's go see what that does. Oh, you can't buy the parts from here yet. Well, anyways, you can buy the parts from uh, their website and also from uh, from the Pavilion app, which is what I'm running this through. Uh, so Pavilion. And if you guys, if you guys uh, don't have, if you don't, you guys don't know about Phantasma, I've talked a little bit about them on the channel here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I talked about them la on Tuesday. But uh, you know, cool chain. I've been using the Poltergeist wallet on their chain, and it's okay. I, they're, it's definitely not the, like the best wallet ever, but it's a, a decent one. It works for what I need to do. Uh, that's how I got all my stuff set up. So right now, you do need to have like a wallet and things to get all these things set up. Uh, you think uh, so, Squirrelicus? You think a ton of people should get on this platform? It seems legit. You mean Phantasma, or do you mean this game in general? Oh, let's see what we get. What, we got loadouts. We, I don't think I have no options. I have no loadouts. Okay, let's go check out what the Steam Festival is. So there's a lap leaderboard. There's PVE uh, challenge, and there's Cup. So let's do the PVE challenge. Oh, Theta, yeah. Oh, dude, Squirrelicus. Theta's great, man. Uh, you know, it's a great platform. I love the community here. Great for streamers. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, no. No. All right. There we go. Oh, that was so close. I almost ate it. Wow. Oh no. Here I go. Boom. <laughs> Too fast. You know, every time I use that that uh, DPS thing, that's when I go off track. Nope, not all. <laughs> that's not how it happens. So just going too fast. You know, there's no there's no break. <laughs> just so you guys know, there's no break on this game. Like you just have to let go. I think is really what it comes down to. See, like I just, I, I felt, I float right off if the gravity is, oh my gosh. Oh, iceberg! See, this is, this is, this is a, this is a much harder track right here, so.
to use. I, I feel like that's where you're supposed to be pressing X to be able to like hold on to it, but maybe not. Oh, look at that! <laughs> look, I'm driving out here. Woo! I'm going to the ocean, Ma. Here, I'm gonna go deep dive. Just staying on the track is difficult, so I don't understand like how I keep flying off. I guess because it's a round track. I don't get it. Maybe it's because they're changing the gravity on me? I'm not really sure. Wow. <laughs> there you go. 22 Slayer wins. I guess I should have played this mode and you guys would have totally gotten no for the whole thing. Billy, what's going on? Fada Rebecca, what is up? Thank you guys for hanging out. We're playing 22 seri uh, racing series today. 22 racing series. So over Twitch. Yeah, I know. I feel you, man. Uh, I'm over Twitch as well. I get it. All right, let's see if we can just stay on the track the whole time. Ah, no. See, something happens, like I get stuck on the, the, the gravity starts pulling me. I don't know how to get out of that, like, gravity pull like that. See, every time I use the, the X, like the dampener, it doesn't seem to work. See, I, that's crazy. I don't understand. That DRS, yeah, it's just not, it's not working. It's not working. I'm trying to follow these guys and see how they're doing it. Like, staying in here, but it's crazy. Oh, see, no, I fell right over again. So you can never be on the back side of the circle. You always want to be on the front side, I guess. Wherever the turn, the curve is coming. Which makes sense. No, nope, see, I did it again. I, I, I went too much on that curve. And I, that's hard. No, this is a, it, the, the the graphics on it are great. Oh look, I'm still driving, guys. I'm driving down here. <laughs> I think it's funny how you can drive down here and it doesn't like, hey, you're off the track. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just getting used to these tracks that are a little bit different than the other. See, now I didn't, I, I didn't take a good line on that one. Yeah, I was there. And see, there's so much time it takes when you're like stuck doing these things. I'm rocket shipping around. <laughs> so obviously they got to get this kind of fixed because th th this shouldn't happen. Uh, but really, it's just due to my own ineptness, not anything else. Let's see if maybe I can. And I'm back on the track. Oh, almost. Come on, turn back over. I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. What do you guys think? Nope. I am trying to play. This is an open world game now, guys. This, this, this is 22 Series Racing, uh, uh, the open world MMORPG experience.
See, I feel like as soon as I go upside down, like I just, uh, I, I fall right off. And I thought like somehow you like could connect to the track, but I guess not. This is classic stash play. <laughs> I know, right? It does seem like kind of classic. Wow, yeah, that's intense. So let's go. We, we should try a different a different map, though. Should we do a different map? Uh, Crypto Chris says let's do 200 soul and 2,000 kcal so people can use the chain, claim their wallet name, and maybe even mint some MTs with Ghost Market. Okay. Yeah, let me let me see if I can set that up real quick, man, uh, and get that a going. Sometimes it's hard to set the custom prizes while I'm doing this, but I can. I think I can manage. I think I can manage. So 200 soul. see hmm. all right one down one more to go 2000 kcal and very kind of you crypto Chris to offer this I very much appreciate it and I'm sure everyone here will appreciate it too Getting some more sweet stuff from the game, from you know, well, I mean, from not from the game, but from from Crypto Chris, uh, and you know, you can you can use this to uh, be able to, you know, like you said, uh, play, maybe make some NFTs, uh, claim your own name on the Phantasma blockchain, all courtesy of uh, Crypto Chris. So very nice of you, man. Okay. All right, those are uh, set up. You guys jump in uh, that uh, current giveaway right now, and uh, I'm going to close it here after this next race. So we're going to do another race, and we're going to close the current giveaway, and then we're going to give away some KCAL and some Soul, courtesy of Crypto Chris, because that's, I mean, wow, what a great community, man. So yeah, let's go to the PVE challenge, because this is, this is where we've been having some troubles. Yes. Yeah, so if you uh, if you guys are curious, you're gonna need be needing a, a wallet here. The, uh, you're gonna be needing the Poltergeist wallet for the Phantasma blockchain to be able to uh, claim any prize that uh, you get here today. That is a you know KCAL soul any of those things. So definitely uh, go check those out. No, no. See, I, I, come on, man. I was doing so good. And then just like, I, I got no control and there's no way to break. Dang it. You fall off the track once, man. That's pretty much it. Yeah, there's still something funky with this because I, when I release the when I release the the acceleration, it's like it doesn't even want to it doesn't even want to be on the track anymore. Like I, I'm going slow. Oh no, there it goes. I guess maybe I just need to do it more. Like no, see, as soon as I try and accelerate on the back end of one of these curves, let me see if I can do it We're going really slow. Nope, you just fall right off. me again it's that same one man it leads me and I'm thinking it's gonna go one direction and it doesn't Dang. 
I'm so far behind, like everyone else is already. See, once you start going on that other side of the track, I don't know how to get past that, man. Marshall, what is going on, buddy? We're, 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 we're playing 22 racing series here, but I'm not doing so well. <laughs> I'm not doing so good, man. Uh, it's hard to stay on this track. It's just, it's hard to stay on the track. I, you'd think that my tires would kind of stick to the track a little bit, maybe, but no. See, once again, man, it just, it's, it's, I can't, if I get a little bit off. Wow. MC cart wins. <laughs> Rematch. Bruggy, man. Hey, thanks for, for hanging out, man. See you next time, buddy. I don't know, man. I don't know how to stick. I don't know how to stick on this track. I must be doing it wrong. I don't get. I don't have upgrades, and I don't definitely don't want to use any plasma. Oh dang it! See. I accelerated into that turn. Here I go. Whoop! Zoom! Rocket ship! Into the world! <laughs> Drive inside the curb. That's what I'm that's what I'm doing, but then sometimes I can't get uh I can't get to the curb. The arrows sometimes they mislead me. See like the arrow that was that would have led me right into the rock. You know what, maybe I'm oversteering too. I think that might be part of it. <laughs> maybe not, maybe I just suck. Faster cast, faster cast. They all—they're beating me. They're all beating me. I, I don't—I don't know. Air time. Does that mean how time? How much time I spent up in the air? Because <laughs> that was a lot of seconds. To the left inside. Yeah, I know how to do it. It's just like I said. Once I get to a certain point where if I—if I—if you don't hit that turn really quickly. It, it, you're you're gonna be all over the place you're, you, and there's no way to stick to the track really all right so uh, like I said I'm gonna jump back and we're going to uh, give away this next uh, this this thing all right so uh, do I crush a 22 racing series uh, yes of course I do come on guys I know it may be contrary to what you see here but uh, the answer is yes of course I crush I told you that when I when I posted it, it was yes. I know I know some of you guys put no. I know some of you put no. That's okay. Even if I lose, I'll always be number one in your hearts. Oh, Bruggy coming through with that uh, G Fuel starter kit, man. GG's, buddy, on that one. That that's redemption. For whatever happened with that other dragon card, bud, I don't know what happened with that, but um, there you go. You got yourself a G Fuel starter kit and Squirrel Kiss with that Pog Tammy. Yo, bruh. Yo, bruh. Yeah, yo, bruh. It's yeah, yo, bruh. I thought it was yo, bruh. Opening day crate. Yo, I won something sick. Yeah, man. Stick around too. I'll get you. I'll get you a badge here at the end of the show. All right, let's do open up another giveaway for some soul and some KCAL. 
And some gold coins. How about that? And it's incense time! 30 seconds. Get that incense, guys. You could scan it with your app. Incense is like another free social cryptocurrency. You just need a little app, you scan the, the QR code, and boom, you get dropped a little bit of a, a little bit of a free instant crypto. So what Phantasma wallet am I using? Prediction open and giveaway open. What Phantasma wallet am I using? I, I said it already. I don't know if you guys remember you're listening, but I did. Uh, I am using the Poltergeist wallet. So if you guys are listening now, Poltergeist wallet for this current prediction. And you could win some KCAL or some Soul courtesy of Crypto Chris. Very cool. Let's go back to playing some 22 Racing Series. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's go check out uh, some, we don't want co-op challenge. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna do, I guess it's the same, it's the same course every time. I don't get to pick the course. So this, this challenge is just, it's just that, it's the course challenge, it's here, it's ready to go. See, what the heck, man? What is that? It's like I'm too fast to make a turn. Oh, look, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna re-enter right here. Bam, nope. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh. Uh, I don't understand, I, I really don't understand exactly uh, why it does that. There's, like, once you start drifting out of your lane and you can, like, you're, you're done, man, you're gonna fly off track. I wish there was some sort of way like the, the DRS was going to help with that, like, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's supposed to and I just, uh, I'm sucking this up. But... See, it's that one, it's this one that always gets me. Like I go faster if I let the accelerator go. I don't get it. Maybe they're, maybe they're going a lot slower than I'm thinking that they should be going. Like this guy is not going that fast. But I'm just gonna try and follow his line. Wherever he goes, that's where I'm going. Front of me again. That's not good. But okay, there you go. They shall lead me to the promised land. Oh, I got seventh. Ooh, hey, thanks so much for the follow there. Uh, crypto, what? Crypto, what? Middle of that. What's going on, man? We're playing a uh, 22 racing series. This is a, a game on Phantasma blockchain, which uses uh, NFTs for the cars to customize and make them look cool. Look at this guy's car. He's customized and make it look all cool. I gotta do the same thing, man. I gotta make my car. I gotta make a cool ass car. P. Well set up Poltergeist wall. He he's anticipating he's gonna win some of these sweet prizes right now. I think that's why he set one up. It's pretty easy to set up, actually, uh, to set the Poltergeist wallet up, but it's, you know, it, there are some steps. It's not something I would say that's like, oh, this is for all, uh, you know, all the newbies out there. It's not. But this is a great blockchain game, and you can see that, uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, uh, the, the game itself, I think, is fleshed out really well. 
Now, I think incorpor they could do some more things to incorporate stuff. So, I love the fact that NFTs uh, back the cars and uh, the customization of them. I would also like to see some sort of like, uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll bring this. I, it just, they haven't really released it yet, but when multiplayer comes, I want to see you being able to play and earn uh, car parts or things like that to upgrade your car, not just having to buy them on the store, right? I want to be able to like put time into this game, play it and earn uh, the car parts or something like that, or, or earn in-game currency that could then go buy the car parts with, right? Uh, that's, uh, I think, one of the big tenets uh, to to the whole blockchain gaming thing, too, is being able to to earn inside of a game, too. Even though I wouldn't consider that one of my, my Triforce, Triforce pieces of, of blockchain gaming, uh, it is very important that uh, the game is played to earn, in my opinion. What is going on, bro bros? Thank you, good channel. I appreciate that, man. Well, hopefully you subscribe or you you uh, follow me here and come back. I, I'm I'm on here doing crypto stuff. I do blockchain gaming on Thursdays, like today, and then Tuesdays I do NFTs and we talk about the market in general. So it's more market focused and investing focused when it comes to crypto. So this is where we do gaming, and uh, I'm a secret agent, so that's why I'm in disguise right now. I don't always look like this, but this is my disguise. I have to be in disguise, guys. I can't go into these games and, and infiltrate them and show them off to you dressed as a regular old secret agent in my secret agent uniform. That just wouldn't make sense. So that is why I'm always in a new disguise every stream, every Thursday. Yeah, play to earn upgrades for your car, yeah. Play to earn is the future, guys. All right, let's see if we can hold on here and not fly off. We're doing okay so far. Oh, thank you so much for that sub, man. I can't even see who that is right now because I am doing so good. I'm trying to concentrate, but I'm gonna give you so much mustache love uh, when I am not concentrating. Ah, no! <laughs> Quick reset. Oh man, I'm position six now. That's okay. I could catch up. I could catch up, guys. It is not over yet. Go, 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 stash, go! Uh oh. No, no, no! Oh man, come on! Stuck me right at a curve. Dang, now I'm definitely not. I, I don't know. I'm not, that. I'm not the only one falling off, so that's good. If I can stay on more than the other people, like. That's what we're going after here, guys. We just want to stay on more than the other people. And boost, boost, boost. Go, go, go. right behind some dude I'm coming up on you buddy uh oh I'm gonna fly off no ah see at least now I'm kind of getting used to like where that's gonna be like where I'm gonna fly off like I know it oh I'm gonna fly off oh no no I stopped myself nice boost Ooh, I got fifth see stash is getting better <laughs> you guys watch out oh bruggy my main man thank you so much bruggy mustache love for you buddy I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for, for the subscribe to my channel. Uh, you get one of those limited edition mythic level stash badges, man. Those things are pretty awesome. Only a few people have them right now, uh, and that's what you get. But you also get some emotes and stuff, too, when I get them done. So when I get the emotes done, you'll get them as a subscriber every month. Uh, so don't worry about that. I'm definitely going to be hooking you up. The badge is just the very first thing, you know? That's the very first thing. But look at that, dude. You reached level 10, and you got that sweet for uh, one-month subscriber mustache uh, badge in front of your name, too. Man, that is pretty sick. I will say, I like those. All right, we're going to play a couple more matches here, uh, and then we're going to draw this last giveaway. Solo.
See, some of those dudes like go underneath right at the beginning. I don't know what's up with that, man. No! No! Dang it! Immediately put me in eighth. I was doing so good, man. Knowing the track and race game is always the key. I don't know if you guys know that, but I played a ton of Mario Kart in my day, and uh, knowing the track is always the key. I don't care how good you are at a racing game or whatever, but if you don't know the track, man, it doesn't. You're, you're gonna fly off just like that. Oh man. And I haven't even gotten into using any like plasma boost or anything. This track is hard. Nope, fell off again. Sometimes I push it with the speed there, guys, and it's just you can't you can't do it. Especially not when you're approaching a turn, it's just not. Nope. I need it again. Here I thought. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. I don't even know if I'm going to finish this one. I'm de I am dead last, guys. This is like probably my worst one so far. But you can see I'm, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Youch. I can't go that fast. I know, man. I want to go fast. 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 I really need to learn when to speed boost and when not to speed boost. Because <laughs> that's what it really comes, that's what I keep messing with. I'm just speed boosting too much. And uh, you really can't, I mean, coming out of the turns, that's what it really is. It's like Speed boosting into a turn, fine, but coming out of a turn, no boost. You, if you go across this line right here, there's just no, there's no boost. You're, you're, you're done, though. So now I kind of get it. Like, like these are the ones you don't want to be on, and you want to be on these things. And anything not in there is kind of like not on track. So see, this, this may be where I need to like boost and go on the outside curve. <laughs> it's good to see I'm not the only one that sucks at this game and is like falling all over the place off the track, but still got eighth. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> concentration face. Am I I'm making concentration face, am I am I? TM. <laughs> if you ain't first, you last. 
take a map where you can drive inside the tube. Yeah, the ones inside the tube are super easy. <laughs> inside the tube, easy. Outside the tube, not so easy. I want to get good at, at being the not easy one. And damn you, Bruggy, for calling up my concentration face. See, I don't know what the heck happened there, man. Yeah, see, once you, yeah, once you're off that, that track, like, if you're not on this green part, you know, like, these inner parts, and you're outside of the little caution ones, you're donezo, man. Like, you can't stand there long if it's, uh, you know, a curve, for sure. Straight away, yeah, curve, no. See, and I don't know how to stay on the outside. There's got to be a way to stay on that outside edge like that. I thought it would be the, like, the, the DRS as you use when you're going on the outside edge like that. Like, like boost, DRS, outside edge. But maybe not? get first that is crazy i cannot believe it i got first finally <laughs> i must have been playing against like horrible people that is awesome or against horrible ais there that that is crazy i cannot believe i got first guys wow at home you called the, the the frankenstein yeah it's true oh thanks so much for letting letting everybody know that All right, guys. Well, you know what? I I think that with that win, is it gonna get any better than that? Is it? it does it get better than the ending on a win? <laughs> the answer is no. No, it does not. <laughs> his nose, his nostrils are so big. Uh, so there we go. We ended up on a win. Uh, we we infiltrated twenty two racing series. We gave away a racing series license for uh, somebody to get in and play the game. I showed you all the blockchain elements, how you can customize your car, even though I couldn't do it yet because I don't have my, my parts all ready to go. But uh, 22 uh, Racing Series, gonna be a, it's already an amazing game. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. Uh, obviously, it takes there's a little bit of a learning curve trying to stay on those tracks, but, uh, but definitely a, a lot of fun uh, in, in general. So I'm glad you guys did this. And this is Mission Complete! Congratulations, agents. Another mission complete. We did it. We're, we're, we're hanging out, and, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you guys coming on these missions with me. Uh, we got a bunch of... I got new things coming up. I have so, I have so many things for the Secret Agent Stash Show that are coming up, guys. Uh, it's almost... I, I, feel, I feel a little giddy. I feel a little like, oh, I can't wait to tell you, but I don't want to, to throw it out there too soon. So uh, definitely going to do it. Do I do I raid? Yes, I'm going to do a raid. Uh, I was going to tell you guys here as we're ending the stream. This is mission complete. If you guys stick around here after um, I go off, not offline, but after I go to the loading screen, I will hook you guys up with badges uh, at your appropriate levels if you don't already have a stash badge. So stick around in channel, and I'm going to do some crate drops and things like that too. Uh, and then as soon as I'm done with the badges stuff, stick around and we're going to go raid somebody. So if you have a suggestion for who I should raid, uh, let me know. All right. So uh, thank you guys so much again. Secret Agents, that is mission complete. This is Secret Agent Stash signing off. Until next time, over now. Secret Agent Stash. Secret.